Listen, do your own math and learn from the stuff that you are missing. Create your own path with your own vision. Hey, Rodney Porter, homeless, not helpless, dot TV. How you guys doing? Today's date, April 13th, 2010, Tuesday. Today's show is entitled, and I want you to listen, Trusting in God. Trusting in God is something that we all say we do. We all say we believe. But we all doubt. We don't want to give it up and tell the truth about it. But this reporter is. A couple of things happened to me just recently. Me being homeless has nothing to do with trusting in God. But this current affair I'm going through, trusting in God is the only thing that'll get you through. It could be your family, thinking about your family, thinking about good times, thinking about whatever you want in the future. But the only way you can get to a future is to trust in God. Case in point. I'm the type of person where, like I mentioned in the opening piece, I always say I believe in God, and I really do, but I don't go through the actions, like not doubting. I have doubt. I'll say, yeah, it's going to happen, but I'll, I'll go, will it happen? I hope it happens. What if it doesn't happen? Plan B. No, you have to have faith, and you have to believe. And I would always worry and worry and I would just fucking drive myself crazy worrying about something that I have no control over. God has control over it. A couple of things, like I mentioned, happened. I've been learning to calm down and leave it in God's hands, trusting in God, pray about it. But I would always pray like 50, 60, 70 times a day. That's having doubt. You pray about it one time and you leave it up to him. And things will happen. But I never got a chance to actually do that because I would always just keep worrying. And I mean worrying. See? Worrying. And now... Once you actually go through something, see it happen, and your back is against the wall, you'll start believing in it, and you'll start doing it, and doing it, and doing it well. <laughs> doing it again. Last week, you know, a couple of weeks ago, didn't have any money. I was picking up some cans, some recycling, digging in some trash cans, some dumpsters. Got about three or four dollars. Got a little gas. Got some pretzels for a dollar. The big bag, something that'll last for a couple of days, two or three days. Then I got a call, a phone call from a old client. I used to own a business where we distribute flyers. And uh, it's a promoter, L.A. promoter. It's been around for over 25, 30 years. But we have a great working relationship, and uh, things are starting to pick up. He gave me a call, passed out some flyers. I uh, charged the lady 75 for 1000 gave him 25 He refers people to me. I'm reliable. He gets some money. I get some money. Same thing happened today. I have no money. 
I have just enough gas to finish up what I need to finish up for a previous order. Excuse me, for a new order. And the lady called me back from a couple of weeks ago. She said she'll follow up. A lot of times they say yay, but if they don't get enough calls, they'll say nay, and they won't call. But she called about five or six today, stomach growling, not panicking, no, not tripping, really working on not tripping. You know, got some cans today, wanted to have something in my stomach. But when I got that call, between the time I got the cans earlier today in the afternoon and early evening when I received the call, she wants another order. I'll pick that up tomorrow, another 75. Also, a new order came through after uh, the lady, which was the first order. And I'll pick up that. It was 3,000 flyers for $300. So I gave my guy that referred to me $100. He took 50, I took 50. And once I finish, I get the remaining balance, which is 200. I'll give him 50, that'll be his 100. I'll have my 150, that'll equal 200. 